What's happening guys? Today I wanted to make this video showing off my three variations of Mazda speeds I have here. You might be saying to yourself, well, I only see two. Hell, maybe even one and a half, depending on what your thoughts are with the Chris speed. But we have here ourselves, I'll start off with the lifted Miata, why not? Got a 05 Mazda speed Miata, started out life as titanium gray. It was a, a non-GT package, I'm sorry, with the cloth seats, vinyl top, optioned with the headlight and taillight bezels, which I have inside. I've only seen one other variation like that, but this car was definitely abused in its prior ownership. All the dents on it that you see were there. Uh, I got the car bone stock. My cousin and I had painted it. A friend and I made the bash bars. I put the roll bar in, steering wheel. I mean, just simply put, any mod that's on this vehicle, I've done. The lift kit, wheels, tires, exhaust. Uh, Performance-wise, it has a Mega Squirt MS3 Pro in it, tuned by Matt Ivan. We'll go under the hood here. Uh, it's got a BNR 16G turbo kit on it, ID 1050 injectors. Let's see. Basically, uh, flying Miata's big enchilada kit. Under here, not too many things going on, just the painted valve cover. Turbo kit looks about the same as stock, pretty much because they use mostly everything that's stock, just a bigger exhaust and inlet, different wheel, uh, Cerakoted manifold, two and a half inch downpipe to a full straight piped exhaust with two vibrant resonators. Sounds perfect in my opinion, just a rumble, no rasp or annoying drone. There's some more dents that I was talking about. Going on to the other one, we have a 1989 Unos Roadster, number 439 off the production line, first day build car. 100% original paint still, has 38,000 kilometers on it now. Uh, I did the 10th anniversary seats, rear deck carpet, 10th anniversary blue soft top, the Roadster billet accessories, the flip switches, gauges, Mazda speed cluster, NRG wheel and hub, Rota tri spokes. I know, go ahead, they're fake. You can make fun of me, it's okay. Not sure of the name on the lid that's here, but it came from Japan like that. I really like that. Inspection's still on the car from over there. KG Works fuel lid. This also has a full straight pipe, two and a half inch exhaust into a vibrant valve muffler, and it sounds perfect. This car as well, going back to the three Mazda Speed theme, this is a Mazda Speed engine swap from an 04 with 67,000 miles. Go under the hood on this one. Now for this one, we got a bigger radiator. Oh, let me start off first. It's a stock Mazda Speed engine, stock turbo, Custom piping to work in an NA body, real HKS filter, real HKS blow-off valve. All of these cars are tuned by Matt Ivan. This one's on an MS2. Uh, this one makes 190 wheel. I skipped that on this. This car makes 240 wheel with 12 pounds of boost. 191 on nine and a half pounds. And this one also makes 190 on nine and a half pounds. But this is an absolutely beautiful car. Extremely fun to drive and in all honesty, just maybe because it's an NA body, a little bit lighter, this one is the quickest. On to the third and maybe the most unique slash favorite Miata I have is the 04 Mazda Speed with 113,000 miles. She was unfortunately... Uh, almost almost a victim of a fire well i guess you could say definitely a victim of a fire but almost lost their life into a fire uh, i saw this car a couple years ago on facebook posted from the fire department itself i had to find the house and i had to find the car I needed to absolutely have this especially being a mazda speed uh, and since time i mean it looks 
still looks burned of course but since i got it it's a totally different car did the motion race work side by side wheel on it roadster sport short shifter poor man's hydro uh, it's on the stock suspension for now or stock struts and springs i should say has a unicorn angle kit up front lines lower tie rod or lower ball joints tie rod ends tie rod spacers the whole nine this has a little enchilada kit on it and tuned on an ms3 pro two and a half inch straight pipe legitimate straight pipe to a side exit on the driver's side i just got my true focus fab front bash bar on and i mean it just really completes the look on it Rota grids up front and just the stocks for now because all my drift tires are burned up but yeah this car runs and drives fantastic i've probably put like 1500 road miles on it everything works ac heat windows i just took the soft top frame out of it because i was tired of hearing it rattle but that went up up and down closed no problem the hood as you can see i just unlatched it normally still works i put the hood latch up may look like a mess under here but it's really simplified it got rid of all the stupid sensors and electronics that were over here for the stock boost valves egr all that nonsense this is just all stock piping with just an unknown brand uh, intercooler on it works just fine iat stay steady stock mazda speed rad yeah not too many thrills under the hood here just meant to work and that, that it does Just get an overview of all three of the cars, trying to just think of anything that I could have forgotten, trying my best off the top of my head here, guys. That's why I call them three Mazda Speeds, though, because all three of them are Mazda Speeds at heart, and that's really all the difference in the car ever was. If there's anything else you guys specifically want to know or want to see, just let me know down in the comments. I'll either make a video on it or I'll answer back. But like I said before, just wrapping up, all of them are tuned by Matt Ivan. If you are in the New York, PA, Connecticut area, do not hesitate to give him a call. Even from a long distance, these cars run better than ever, start up every time and never give us an issue.